it's raining which means it's time to do another drone test. I uh, did a test a while back on how different clothing affects the thermal imaging camera, and I got to thinking that I'd really like to repeat these tests, both while it's raining and while it's dark. So we've had some couple of storms go through the area right now, and this seems to be the last one for quite some time, and I figured this would be a perfect time to knock out the rain test. So I'm gonna come up here and walk along this road, putting on several different outfits as usual, and uh, see how I get picked up on the thermal imaging camera. I'm not gonna do as many as I did for the last test, because this is more about how rain affects clothes and not how everything from American flag short shorts all the way up to full-blown firefighting gear is affected by rain, but we're still gonna do quite a few, which should hopefully give you guys a nice catalog of information to choose from when you're out on your search and rescue missions or your apprehensions or your whatever you're flying your drone for trying to find people. So, first things first, we're going to start off in shorts and shirt and see how that gets affected. We will be utilizing the DJI Matrice 30T for today's filming, obviously, because it's one of the only drones that is rated to fly in the rain. All right, before I even hop out of my nice warm pickup, I want to see how my truck looks like in this rain. Obviously, I've been driving around for quite a bit. The engine compartment should be nice and warm. Let's get a good idea of how a vehicle will look in the rain. I've talked about this drone multiple times on this channel, but the M30T has got to be one of my favorite drones of all time. What other drone can you put into the air and not have a single worry about how the rain is going to affect it? Regardless, when you put it up in the air, you can see, obviously, that the truck's engine compartment is glowing way warmer than anything around it. The glowing black heat that you see off to the left is a drainage pipe that has been shielded from the rain that has lowered the ambient temperature. Through all these tests, I found that the wideband spectrum of the infrared worked probably the least well. The lack of large differences between temperatures in the scene means that the photo just came completely muddled and really didn't give me much great information as compared to the narrowband. And of all of the settings for the narrowband, I found tint to work the overall best. Black hot worked good, white hot worked good, but tint really just draws your eyes to that thermal energy signature better than anything else around it. Even those sun's rays filtered through the clouds though they may be, still gave off a fair amount of thermal energy onto the ground. Tint just worked great. All right, time to go get wet. It's probably going to be pretty rare to find someone wandering around in the rain wearing just shorts and a shirt, but for those of you in emergency services, I'm sure you've seen worse. Regardless, White Hot seemed to work very well in picking me out in this whole thermal picture, and Black Hot also worked pretty good, even though with Black Hot I found me starting to blend into the asphalt pretty well. Surprisingly though, Wideband on the thermal worked pretty good but I still found it to be such a muddled picture that I would much rather work along with the narrow band. And even with the narrow band, especially on black hot and tint, I found myself being able to pick myself out very easy all the way up to a thousand feet away. I used a laser rangefinder equipped on the M30T to double check just how far away I was because I was really surprised at how easy it was to pick me out as compared even to the wide camera and zoom camera where I could really only see the white of my shorts. The amount of skin I had showing it definitely contributed to me being able to pick me out from so far away, so absolutely something to keep in mind. All right, so that was pretty cold, um, and looking at the screen, looks like I showed up quite well. So that's one of those things that's really good to keep in mind, is even if the air outside is really cold, your body heat is still so much warmer than any of the ambient temperature that it's gonna show up really, really well. Let's start putting on some warmer gear, some more protection, and see how that affects it. All right, I have thrown on some jeans and a very light jacket, uh, not waterproof, basically a nice blend of cotton and polyester, something very, very lightweight, almost walking or jogging gear. Let's see how that works. I definitely was wearing a few more protective layers than I was just the shorts and the shirt, but the fact that it was such close fitting clothing meant that there was a bunch of thermal bleed through from my body directly into the thermal imaging sensor. Which is good to know and something we remember from our last test, 
where it doesn't really matter the amount of layers you're wearing, as long as there's some skin-to-skin -skin contact, you're going to bleed thermal energy through your clothes, no matter what, unless they are something like Gore-Tex or really, really thick clothing that will protect you from all sorts of outside thermal energy. Regardless, Black Hot worked good, White Hot worked a little bit better in my opinion, but Tint once again ruled out the day. I once again tested out to a thousand feet and would love to do another test to see just how far out I could pick myself up onto thermal, considering I was practically invisible onto wide camera and even onto zoom camera, my jeans blended into the mud fairly well. All right, that wasn't too much of a difference from what I could see. Still showed up nice and bright. So now let's throw on some full-blown rain gear, both galoshes, muck boots, and a large rainproof jacket. All right, all set up in my wet weather gear. Let's go see how this looks. Right away, I noticed a significant difference in the wet weather gear as compared to the other gear. The Gore-Tex got quite wet a lot faster, more slick, and presented a lot less of a sight picture for the infrared camera. Tint still worked good, black worked pretty good, and white hot still worked pretty good as well, allowing me to still pick myself out fairly reliably all the way out to a thousand feet, but I could definitely tell a reduction in sight picture overall. I would attribute this mainly to the loose fitting garments I wore on my bottom half that kind of draped over my boots so it had a lot more room between me and my body heat with which to soak up the thermal energy. As you can see in this tint picture I am a very very small spot as compared to the last couple of clothing choices we are wearing. And after about five minutes or so out in the rain, you can see that the only really heat you can pick up from me is my chest area, which would be the closest to my skin. Even wearing the bright yellow galoshes, I'm still pretty hard to pick out on the wide view camera and zoom camera. It works a lot better, which is again one of the reasons we always recommend in Search and Rescue why you want to wear bright colors. On this close-up zoom in, you can see, again, most of the heat is coming from my face, hands, back, and chest, as well as my groin area, and it's still very much blocking in a lot of the heat. All right, well, hopefully this video helped you learn a thing or two about how rain will affect your thermal imaging drone. Uh, I'm sure there's a couple of things I probably could have done differently. Mainly, if it was pouring down rain even harder and I got completely soaked all the way, but I just got over a really, really nasty bug and don't feel like catching a cold again. So if you want me to repeat this test and you have different ways that you think I could improve this for the next time, go ahead and leave them in the comments as always. I'm more than happy to have positive feedback and critiques. But until next time, if you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. Check me out on all the different socials and I'll see you guys next time.